update time. So, since all the transformations, all the things we've been following the channel, lots going on, lots of clarity, and really can really know who I am, what I want in a sense in the world, what I want to be doing, and see my future like really. Now it's like, what am I doing right now? So it's going to be a bit of an update of how, since going deeply inwards, now coming out into the external world, so to speak, and really showing up and taking action and bringing things together, how that's already starting to look. And I want to talk a little bit about envisioning the future, having that clarity, having that great vision, moving towards that, so to speak, letting that kind of lead you and guide you in a sense, letting that vision inspire you, seeing glimpses of this and in a sense of your, your future. And how to powerfully do that and how to live in the present. Because I find this for me is sometimes I get caught up in that and then I'm not necessarily living as much as I could be in the present. Now, I'm not necessarily making the decisions and taking the action quick enough or that I need to, in a sense, to get towards that vision. Because I'm too focused on over there, so many steps in front, so to speak. So for many years or however, whatever it is, whether it's weeks, months, years, decades even, some of the stuff that's been coming through to me is like lifelong stuff, right? And then and legacy stuff for when I'm gone. So it's like how not to get too focused on that now. I've been going deep in that and bring it back and go forward day to day. So I want to share a little bit of update on that. So we'll do that now. Now is the time to live your best life. Let your passion and joy shine bright. Lead with love, make a difference. Connect to the deepest parts of yourself and become at one with your truest self. Live true, be you. Then I'll talk a little bit about how to have great clarity and in, in an inspiring, powerful vision and also live powerfully in the present and have a powerfully and inspiring and peaceful and balanced now. So you're not just living and trying to do that in a sense, but you're really living now and how right now helps you, gets you to that and how to really work all that out. So with the clarity I've received, in some ways, the more answers you get, so to speak, the more you see, uh, the more questions there are, and the more things there are to search within and externally to do research and pit feelers out and to try things out out in the world. So it's been a little bit of a, it's, it seems in some ways a slow process and from the outside, not much has moved so much at the moment, but in some ways, it, well, it has in some ways, and it's really shifting hugely as we speak. So now the money situation where I was, where I was super focused and I was just letting things flow, now I've kind of more put more attention to that. Now I put more attention to the things I enjoy doing and the things that are really inspire me, whether that be whatever area that life that may be, and bringing it all together and bringing in little bits of each and watching it start to unfold is beautiful and really, and really understanding how that connects to the future. I've started to really put that together and realize, like I say, if you're focusing too much on that and not the now or you're focusing too much on the now and not that in a sense, it's easy to be lost, confused and a bit, like in a sense, disconnected with life. So I feel it's important to have that powerful vision for the future to really as a guiding, as it shows you what your future can be, so you can kind of, in a sense, for lack of a pet word, work towards that, to, to grow towards that, to, to to live towards that. But right now, you've got to live towards that. So right now, you need to be doing stuff you enjoy. And that's not just, this is this is core, important stuff that is that will be connected to that vision. So you're not wasting time, in a sense. You're not just going with the flow and you're stuck in that whatever it may be, part of your life is job, relationship, business, whatever you're stuck in, uh, whatever stage, whatever thing, that then you're not moving forward because you're not clear. So it's being clear about the future and really taking action and embracing the moment. And remembering that those little steps, those small decisions are what makes the big difference. I find from my experience um, and those around me, so to speak, that we focus on this, we see big changes and then when it gets to this or that or this and there's reasons, but it's each day how you're showing up, for example, your health. You don't just get fitter, you don't just lose weight, you don't just be healthier. You Each day you decide, 
it's that small decision at the the coffee shop of what you choose or when you go to the supermarket what you buy or when you get, get home from work for example do you go for or you finish your business for the day you go, go you're gonna go for a run or you're just gonna you know it doesn't mean you're always gonna make the right decision and there is no necessarily right decision it's what's helping you then sometimes it's right not to go for the run sometimes it can it's right to indulge yourself a little bit right it's not about being hard on yourself, being strict. It's about letting it flow and what feels right for you and making decisions that honour you, your journey, your being, everything, right? And it's the same with this. So I started really using that clarity now to take action is the key word there. I started bringing things in my life. I um, started changing things in my life. Uh, outwardly now, uh, I've gone on the beginning of the journey and I'm really looking at my life and making change and making different priorities and things and taking action on different things that I'm called to do. And it's those little ones and you build momentum and I find it really powerful. So I'll give you some examples as an update <laughs> so you know what's going on with me. So I mean, I'm now at the point where I've been living at home with my parents and it's worked out well for me for the for recent times. I've worked away, I've traveled a lot, um, but I've never officially kind of in a sense apart from when I've been working away or traveling, which has been for many months at a time, but I've never got a place in the UK and stayed there apart from when I'm working away. So now I'm looking, I've already got in the, in the process of sorting that out and I've got a place set up for now in October, towards the end of October, that I'll be moving out, me and my partner moving out and that'll be great. It's a great new journey for the both of us. So that's a really exciting change that has really, because the priority shifted the priorities have shifted and now I'm very clear on where I'm going. That just is a no-brainer and it just somehow things just started to happen. I can't explain it. I'll maybe talk more about this again because um, I can kind of explain it, but it's not easy to explain. But you just, energy attracts energy, right? Like energy attracts energy. You start focusing on, uh, the, the example I always give generally is the car you want. When you're looking to buy a car, most of us have gone through this. You could have compared it to something else even if you haven't. And when you think, when that's in your mind, you see that car everywhere. Before it seemed like there wasn't many on the road. Now there seems like everybody's got one. It's that kind of thing. It's like the particularly active scene system in your brain or whatever it is that it is able to post. Because we can't post everything, right? We just can't. Our brain can't take in everything that's going on around us and all the opportunities and things that are happening. So when you start focusing on something in particular, it starts showing up more obviously. And the more you talk about it, the more shit. And then you're circle your 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 sphere the people around you the think the environment around you starts to pick up on that and you'll get you'll see things more clearly you'll get often you'll get opportunities sent your way more things so it'll just start to unfold but it is a big part of it is taking action it doesn't unfold until you start taking action in a sense it's until it's a priority until you're really starting to do things to step forward boldly because often we wait and we say okay when it, this is like this, or when that's like that, and this is fine. When I feel like this, when I got this much money, then I'll do it, right? But if you, but you need to just step forward with whatever feels right for you right now. Stop putting it off till tomorrow. What you can do today, as they say. So it's all about just starting that process. You don't know what's going to happen, how it's going to work out. You just got to know why you're going to do it deeply rooted. Why is it? Why is it important to you? What? What is it? What then? Yeah, like I say, what is it? And then the how always tends to take care of itself and in other ways my life in terms of the activities developments that are also directly linked to my future and the things I want to be doing more of now and instead of just go one day I'll do this or that and I'd like to be doing that and I'd like to move to this country and then do that I can there's certain things I can do right now so I've already started growing my own food I'm going to put more emphasis on that when I move out and have my own garden and those kind of things come all about. I want to be self-sufficient. I want to kind of, I want to have a homestead in a sense. Um, and I want to learn to do different things and be self-sufficient. Um, and I've started different activities around that. I started a bit more time into activities that I already did, but to put more energy into it that would be good for my personal and lack of a better word, professional. I want to start a business in the outdoors and I want, so I want to develop my skills and I want to work with different companies with bushcrafty type things, survival, primitive skills. So different opportunities have come up for that. Things are starting to go in the motions. And I'll keep you updated on that, but I've got a, a, re, a refocused on that and things are starting to already show up um, opportunities. And I'm looking to work with some companies and slowly set up my company as my, develop, my skills develop. 
so I'm spending a lot of time doing bushcrafty type of things. That's the focus now. I joined the club, or I'm just about to join the shooting club. I just went today, um, and I've been twice now. And I really want to get into that. I really want to be able to do that. And I really want part of the self-sufficiency for me is that I want to be able to, if I'm eating meat, I want to get it from source. I want to be the one that, that you know, so I want to learn to hunt in a sense. Um, and any meat I provide. I try not to have too much meat, and I did go no meat like vegan for a while i'm just trying to be conscious and i'm not by no means perfect so to speak like there is no right or wrong as we say but it's trying to make less of an impact um in terms of for the animal's welfare for, and the planet and for my health as well making sure i'm getting quality stuff and it's so, and it's done in an ethical way that is aligned to me how i feel and yeah, for me it's being part of that process and getting that fresh meat and, to, and have an animal from the wild instead of like not knowing where your food comes and just, just doesn't feel right to me so that's part of that process it's an activity i've enjoyed doing and it can be a skill i can develop that can be you that brings me closer to that future of complete balance with the universe with nature and with myself and we and in that kind of self-sufficient space as well um so all these different things are coming together so it's kind of all areas of my life. My relationships in a, uh, a great place now as well. My finances are in a in a in a good place. I wouldn't say great place. They're in a good place, whereas they weren't before. I've started getting a bit of savings behind me, which I didn't have for a long time, and I've started paying my money, organise my money better. And even now, it's another part of the, the the pie, so to speak. The investing. I want to start investing stuff, so I've started putting money aside for that, and I started learning a little bit about the stock market. So. I'm keeping slowly steps forward now, so I'll give you, a, I do, I'm sure I'll do many updates, but I'll do another update in uh, the near to medium future, the next few months, um, what's going on with these things, but they're really small steps in a lot of ways, but it's big big things as well as shifting, and it's wonderful, so just, just really focus on those little changes, those little things you can do, that money you can put aside, that, that time you can focus on this, that project you can start, like the podcast I'm looking to do now, I've kind of had that in my mind for a while, and um, that's really going to come to fruition shortly. I got a few bits I'm going to finish up, but just got to put a priority on that because it hasn't been this week um, because of other things being priority. So, but it's, it's, that's okay, right? It's all about just honoring the process, honoring yourself, not putting pressure on things. And then that will be coming out now, but th th everything's kind of moving forward. So, yeah, it's exciting. It is very exciting. Part of this reason I do this channel, I just want to share my journey with you in a sense to for whatever that kind of in um helps you supports you inspires you is interesting to you then great um and in the way to inspire you to really live your best life and to help guide you with what i the wisdom that comes to me and through my journey and my continued journey now as well as share my kind of life and lifestyle with you to show you what my best life is and, and it, whether you deep you connect specifically to that or just the i want to live your best life and whatever that looks for you but i'm going to be sharing more now of the I've got a separate channel for outdoorsy stuff, um, but I will be sharing a little bit more of that kind of stuff, the different things in my life that are going on here a little bit, and more my lifestyle, so to speak, uh, and the things I'm doing. But yeah, there's another channel. I'll put in a link in the description, actually, that I started that does more of my outdoorsy specific adventures and bushcrafty and wild swimming and whatever it may be, like those kind of specific videos, activities, outdoorsy. And I'll start to bring in stuff that I'm doing towards moving towards living my best life to be living balanced internally and then creating an external world an environment that is super beautiful for me you know the right people the right place the right activity so to speak the right business jobs the work whatever you want to call it um just all of it and it's already starting to get into that space and internally I really connected to that so now I'm just showing up on the outside to move those pieces and just to live and to create in create balance living true honoring thyself and that's what it's all about so yeah I feel really blessed um and I have a long time in a way but now that I've just really gone inwards and come back out felt super balanced peaceful and clear and to really see already in a fairly short space of time things shifting externally in terms of physicality and then the energy behind it all it's just beautiful so like relationship money my health everything is just on the up and it's just wonderful and doing these different things that i enjoy doing enjoy i really love learning and doing different things and whether it be 
the bushcraft or cooking or learning to shoot or what else am I learning? <laughs> learning about investing or learning about self-sufficiency, growing vegetables, whatever it may be. I just love things that feel right, feel connected, feel balanced and really bring me into the moment and also that beautiful future that I see that is guiding me, so to speak, the universe is showing me. It's all part of that and it is beautiful and it's important. That's why I'm going to just finish on. It is important. I see it as in, it's, it's vital to me to have something to see. So when you really connect it to yourself, you'll start getting things come out and this is what you want. This is how you like it. And, da, 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 da. and it'll be all these things that will lead you to completely 100% in all areas of your life, living your best life. So you see that, so to speak, and be inspired by that. But don't be pressure on that and then be in the moment working things out, that's for reference, looking to that and coming back to now, in a sense, maybe maybe looking more in between as well, breaking things down a little bit, I don't like to be too kind of organised with it in a sort of spirit, I don't like to break it down to too many goals, but I like to just feel it, see it, and then go today, this week, what am I doing, I check in a little bit, I check with myself regularly, and just, I know because I know how I'm feeling, if I'm doing the things that are right, and when you're really clear on that, it becomes really simple right now. Doesn't mean it isn't. You don't got to give yourself sometimes a, a push. Doesn't mean you know. Doesn't mean some days aren't tough. But you are so clear and so you're so inspired, so driven because it's calling you, it's pulling you forward, and it's and it's in a sense by that forward is also means that those things you're doing that's pulling you forward are pulling you into the present, and you're living beautifully. So you have to live for today, but by having that vision for the future, you continually. Stay in your truth, growing, expanding, and living in your beauty, and creating more bigger and more beautiful things, so to speak, as you go on. And ultimately, then you can create a bigger impact to those around you. Like energy tracks, like energy, remember, be a force of love. But you can't do that unless you completely love yourself and love the life you're living. It's a journey. What can you do today, tomorrow, next week? so on to be completely fulfilled in the present and build for a beautiful tomorrow as well as enjoying a beautiful today ah there we go my beautiful friends until next time see you soon